Hello, St. Lawrence. Hello, Catholic Students United. I'm Brother Matthew, chaplain here at St. Lawrence. Today's passage continues the conversation recorded in John chapter 3 between Jesus and Nicodemus. In particular, today is the, is the famous passage, John 3.16, where it said this, that God so loved the world that he gave up his only begotten son so that whoever believes in him might not perish but have eternal life. Now, if you're like me, you've heard that passage so often that it, it fails to, to make an impress on you. So today, let's, let's take a different perspective on the passage, hopefully to glean some more fruit from it. And let's ask of the passage, how? How is it that God giving up his only begotten son did anything for us as humans? There's many possible answers to that question. I just want to take one, one version of it, one aspect. And it's this, that God not only gave up his only begotten son, but gave up his son to become a man, a, a human like us in all things except sin. He carried around with him this very flesh and blood. And because Jesus, therefore, shared in our humanity, then we as humans share in his divine fate, eternal life. So St. Saint, Saint Athanasius, Saint Athanasius writing around 300, I'd like to use this example for it. Imagine in your mind's eye, imagine an ancient city. It's surrounded by a huge wall, and inside the city, there's many houses. But the city is constantly under attack from the enemy. And one day, a great king comes and decides to enter the city and take up residence in one of the houses. Now, nothing extrinsically changes about the city, except that now the city is worthy of great honor because the king lives there. And now the enemy dares not attack the city because the king lives there. And keep this in mind, even though the king only lives in one house of the city, the enemy doesn't dare attack the city at all. Now in the Christian life, who is the enemy? Well, it's the evil one. And what's one of his main weapons? Death, death itself. And so we see how in the Christian life, because Jesus has taken the body of a man and conquered death, death for all of humanity is now eradicated. So in summary, God not only defeated death, but he defeated death as a true man. And therefore his victory redounds to all of us men and women. And notice how little of initiative that, that you and I took in that whole undertaking. God did all of this for us, becoming man even to the point of death, death on a cross, rising again so that we might have eternal life. And he only asks of us that we would believe in him with our, all, with our whole hearts. Alleluia. Hi, my name is Father Jake Anderson. I'm the pastor here at St. Lawrence Catholic Church in Newman Center. I'm so grateful that you're able to, uh, to just watch some of these videos. Um, we certainly have a lot of content. We're putting out videos every day. Uh, so just encourage you to do a little exploration and, and find that what we're offering to stay connected as the Catholic Church here at the U of M.